Good morning, Sean. Democratic Governor Challenger Molly Kelly faced Republican incumbent Governor Chris Sununu on Thursday in the final debate before New Hampshire voters head to the polls. Sununu is running for re-election in the state with a strong economy that is experiencing low unemployment. But in the Granite State debate sponsored by WMUR and New Hampshire Union leader, Kelly said the state isn't working for everyone and she said she wants to make sure Granite Staters aren't left out. Kelly said many Granite Staters are not benefiting equal from the strong economy. And for a full recap from last night, let's listen to this video from WMR News 9, Adam Sexton and Jean Mackin. Jostling for position in this debate as the candidates look to set themselves up for success on Election Day. The challenger, Molly Kelly, needs to move the needle to make up for that deficit in the polls, as you noted. She launched a series of attacks, but Governor Chris Sununu, the incumbent, was generally ready for them, and he had a response of his own. For a full wrap-up of the action, let's go live outside the NHIOP to Gene Mackett. And Adam, this was really a contentious back and forth for much of the debate, leaving no doubt in the differences between these two candidates. The party lines were clearly drawn on the debate stage. She raised taxes over 50 times when she was a state senator. The LLC tax, the business taxes, a canoe tax, for goodness sakes. I will not, and I've been clear, support a sales or income tax, and I will veto as well. Again, I believe that every time a Democrat is running against a Republican, that is the attack. Incumbent Republican Governor Chris Sununu stood his ground while challenger Democrat Molly Kelly questioned where he stands. My opponent uh, has real doubts about the fact that climate change is caused by human behavior. Humans have contributed to climate change. That, that is not a question, uh, contrary to what my opponent may say. The fact that the Democrat Party as a whole has embraced the full-blown legalization of marijuana, I think that's a very dangerous place to be given the severity of our health crisis. I um, uh, do support legalizing marijuana and highly, highly regulating marijuana and taxing it. I worry every single day about my seven grandchildren. I will not wait as governor to wait for a tragedy in the state. The first bill that my opponent signed into law was to allow anyone to carry a concealed weapon without a permit and i would repeal that at the end of the day we have to get to the core of the issue that's about the kids that's about the undiagnosed mental health and illnesses that some of these children have the fact that we're not providing those wraparound services there were times they questioned each other's answers and experience my opponent was just asked to give any specifics even just one on how she would deal with the opioid crisis nothing not a single concrete answer she was asked about fuel Nothing. She was asked about the economy. Nothing. You have to understand how these systems work to know how they're going to be implemented. I was a state senator for 10 years. I got things done, and I know how to get things done. And in one of the few lighter moments, the candidates did smile over a lightning round question. Senator, what was your favorite Halloween costume of yours of all time? Wonder Woman. All right. Hey, Governor? <laughs> I'm a big fan. I was a unicorn, so... <laughs> That is Wonder Woman and a unicorn. You know, they also sparred on topics like accepting campaign donations, paid family medical leave, even the fuel delivery problems of last winter. And yes, this was their last debate, but now starts that final push toward Election Day, Adam. Well, thanks, Jean. Wonder Woman and the unicorn, a.k.a. Molly Kelly and Chris Sununu, both stopped by the spin room after the debate. And here's what they had to say about the differences they were able to draw between their two campaigns. I uh, uh, want to make sure that every child has uh, an opportunity for an education and uh, that I do not support um, a voucher program that takes money away from public schools. So I feel very strong about the importance of public school. The other is workforce, how important that is, that we grow an innovative, creative, and sustainable economy. I thought it was a great opportunity to get out there. And, and we talked specifics. We gave details. We talked about not just what we did to implement programs and make get results for the people in New Hampshire make it simply better.
better for families and businesses and individuals. Um, but we really talk about where we're going to go. You know, the new ideas, how we're going to manage uh, this new opioid infrastructure that we're developing, how we're going to invest in workforce at the university level. Even with these performances here tonight, there are a lot of big factors at play in this election that could determine who wins and who loses on Election Day. For full analysis of the entire week of Granite State debates here, be sure to tune in to Close Up Sunday at 10 a.m. Live at the New Hampshire Institute of Politics at St. Anne's Home College, Adam Sexton, WMUR, News Nothing. Okay, and there you go on a look from last night debates and how things went down last night at the debate. And we're putting live here outside the Institute of Politics at St. Anselm College. I'm Riley King for WMUR News 9. Sean, back over to you.